The Catholic University of Zimbabwe opened its doors in 1998 and we've been operational since then. Catholic University is the university of choice when you want to do entrepreneurial projects, innovative projects. The human capital development is a key result area of our teaching, research and service initiatives. The Catholic University of Zimbabwe promises quality educators for quality students. Catholic University has enabled me to still undertake um, my education in these COVID times through online learning and I've found it very beneficial because my education hasn't been uh, put to a stop. We've got a lot of projects that accommodate people from high school, people who have just uh, graduated, and people who are doing PhD projects. As a student, one thing that I experienced that I enjoyed was the honing of my skills beyond the classroom. So they worked on pushing me beyond the classroom. I am an artist by nature. I have been taught to master my talents and turn them into into a money-making idea, into a business. So the E4 Impact MBA program is a two-year program and um, it's being offered in the Catholic uh, University together with um, Altis Graduate School and the Catholic University of Milan. So the program gives both uh, academic and business uh, acceleration uh, simultaneously and supports uh, both active and aspiring entrepreneurs. We also have the digital skills training in partnership with Welt Hunger Hilfe and we are training about 100 uh, youths around uh, Harare. We are imparting them with digital skills that they can easily uh, translate into uh, income generating projects. The Catholic University of Zimbabwe promises quality educators for quality students and graduates for living. Not just the theoretical kind of teaching, no, but teaching that prepares the students for life through using the business tools that they acquired through the E4 Impact MBA program. Um, the alumni have also not only managed to open new branches, but have also created even more jobs, thereby increasing the impact to society.